Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with this very interesting chapter on mensuration. Firstly, we will revise area and perimeter of square, rectangle, triangle, circle and parallelogram. Then we will study area and perimeter of other closed figures like trapezium, rhombus and quadrilateral. Then we shall learn about the surface area and volume of solids such as cube, cuboid and cylinder. Let us consider a square the length of whose side is S. Then area of the square is S into S that is equal to S square and its perimeter is equal to 4S. We know that perimeter is the sum of the sides of the square. Now let us consider a rectangle. Suppose its length is L and its breadth is B then its area is length into breadth and its perimeter is 2 times length plus breadth. Let us consider a triangle. Say its base is B and height is H. Then area of the triangle will be half into base into height and its perimeter will be sum of all sides. Suppose the other sides are A and C then perimeter will be A plus B plus C. Let us consider equilateral triangle. The length of whose sides B A. Then since it is an equilateral triangle, length of all the sides will be A and its area will be under root of 3 by 4 A square and its perimeter will be 3A. Let us consider a circle whose radius is R. Then area of the circle is given by pi R square and its circumference is equal to 2 pi R. If D denotes the diameter of the circle then we know that D is equal to 2R and hence circumference can also be pi D. Now suppose we have a semicircle whose radius is R then its area will be half the area of the circle that is half pi R square and and circumference of semicircle is also half that of the circle that is 2 pi r by 2 which is equal to pi r or pi d by 2. Here note that circumference of semicircle is actually the length of this curve only and if we have a line here then we have to add the length of this line to take out the perimeter of the sector. Let us consider a parallelogram. We know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal and parallel. If B is the length of its base and H is the height, 
then area of the parallelogram will be b into h and its perimeter will be sum of all sides